Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at two of my oldest Vampire Crab Paladarium builds, Grey Rock Ravine and Fern Tangle, as well as a quick look at two of my newer ones, Erebus 7, the sci-fi build, and Evolution, which is the one that I converted from an aquarium into a Paladarium. So Grey Rock Ravine and Fern Tangle have both been running for quite a few months now. I'll leave the exact number up on the screen when I calculate it. And recently they've seen some really insane growth since I upgraded the lights on my entire system here. For the last few years I've been using the cheapest lights I could possibly find and simply connected them to some timers that switched on and off when required. This has served me really well but with so many tanks and projects on the run now it's time for some better automation and something with some intensity control and some ramp up and ramp down options. So after spending a bucket load of time searching high and low I ended up settling on these Syncor lights which is super affordable, pretty damn good quality, and they also have awesome Wi-Fi control. So this is something I've been really looking forward to. Interestingly as well, they also seem to get plants really, really fired up, and I've had some insane growth since I switched over to some of these lights. And I'm pretty sure that's entirely down to the fact that these ones run a red LED. So the previous lights that I've used only ever had white and blue LEDs, so the addition of the extra red LED is pretty much what's given the plant such a big boost. On my main tank Grey Rock Ravine, I originally had a single 90cm Sun Sun LED over the middle of the tank, but it didn't quite get the best coverage as the light cast odd shadows through the aluminium grill. Sure it grew plants quite well, but a portion of the light was always reflected up and out of the tank because of the reflective nature of the aluminium. So because of that, I've added a second light to the tank and I've placed one on the front and one on the back. So the two lights I'm running on this tank now are the Syncor WRB Wi-Fi 90cm and the Syncor White Wi-Fi 90cm. So one is just a plain white LED, which I'm using at the back. I got this one because I do like the clean white light sometimes. And I got the second one just to see what the red LEDs do. And they definitely are a huge boost to the tank. So with both of these combined, I'm getting really good growth. I have the back one set at about 40% and it casts a nice clean white light and having it only at about 40% slows down some of the fern growth a little bit so it's not going to grow too fast with too much maintenance. As you can see the one at the front here you'll see how crazy some of the plants have grown and if you look at the back you'll see how insanely dense the ferns are now. It's been a while since I've done any maintenance but I don't think I really need to trim anything yet because it's looking really lush. The app's pretty straightforward as well you just connect it Use the slider to adjust the intensity and then just set whatever time as you want with a bit of a ramp up or a ramp down. While we're here, I'll also cover the main question I get about this tank outside of the lights and that is the humidity control. So I manage the humidity in this tank on top using the metal air vent and basically all I've got are some clear plastic acrylic sheets. So I've cut these to size and I just use those as little individual panels and I add and remove those as I need to increase or decrease the airflow. So in winter, I have it almost entirely closed closed with only a small gap on each end for a bit of airflow and during summer as things warm up I slowly take these panels off and open the tank up so the heat can exhaust out of the top and the humidity stays pretty reasonable all throughout the year using this method. So moving on to the next tank so this is the Fern Tangle tank. I've got another Syncor WRB Wi-Fi light on this so this one's a 60 centimeter light. So again, it's got the three LEDs, including the red one, which is again, pretty much the reason the ferns went absolutely crazy on this tank. Admittedly, I haven't done any maintenance on this in a little while, but I did want to just let the ferns go crazy. So the only downside to these lights is that they have quite a big power adapter. So the actual power point that plugs into the socket, it's not such a big deal, but because of that, I've had to unplug the waterfall just so I can get the extra lights plugged into this. So essentially with the power block I have, I need to have one empty space between each. So I'll need to upgrade that just so I can have everything connected at once. But that's just a little upgrade I need to do for the power board. So below these tanks, I've also replaced the row of cheap LED lights that I had with two 75 centimeter Syncor WRB Wi-Fi lights. This time though, I decided to attach them with the hanging kit and I managed to get it all looking level, which was actually quite easy. I thought it was gonna be more of a nightmare. These two tanks are currently crabless, but I have three new vampire crab species ready to introduce once they've finished cycling and everything started to get nice and established. But for now, that pretty much wraps up another video. If you have any questions about the lighting, the humidity control, the plants, whatever, just drop them in the comments as usual, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone.